There are many ancient sites which we have already covered here on our channel that, regardless of the unexplained features we continue to expose, are little researched or indeed revisited by mainstream academia. These sites are predictably given an illogical explanation for their origin and creation, dismissed and ignored, as if the book regarding their history is complete and thus closed from further study. However, there exist some sites that required such a long time excavation that many researchers, some funded, others with independent interests, were able to reveal simply astonishing features, ancient feats of engineering before they were attributed to groups who were simply incapable of achieving them. The Hypogeum in Malta is one such place, a place we have covered before, that regardless of the academic denial of unexplained discoveries, continues to be well known for the 6,000 ancient burials found within the ruins, with no less than six elongated unexplainable skulls, possibly attached to corpses discovered amongst them. These reported remains later vanished and are now utterly denied as having ever existed. Yet so many researchers became aware of these discoveries, later sharing this cover-up with the world, the official museum and curator tasked with the responsibility of caring for the site and the countless remains found within, is still, to this day, inundated year by year with requests and calls regarding these unexplainable remains. So many, in fact, that the official body was compelled to put up an official statement regarding the lack of any such remains in their care, along with a denial of them ever having existed. However, there are many more anomalies, no less astonishing, still hidden within the Hypogeum. Anomalies which are no less difficult to explain, or indeed deny as existing. Known as the Oracle Room, there is a place within this complex construction which, if one stands upon a specifically made altar, their voice can mysteriously be heard throughout, even at speaking level, as if amplified and complemented by the structure's entire design. Yet the most interesting thing regarding this incredible feature is the resonance in which it converts one's voice to and the effect this can have on the human brain. Known as the holy frequency, the hypogeum not only carries one's voice throughout, but does so at 111 hertz. Paul Devereux, an archaeoacoustician, a professor from Cambridge University in the UK, has also discovered that the burial mounds of Cairns also resonated sounds at this mysterious 111 hertz. Devereux investigated this intriguing relation of 111 hertz and found out something quite interesting. He realized there were many ancient texts describing beliefs which are based on a divine sound or divine frequency principle. According to Devereux, Pythagoras created his musical scale starting with the note A, which curiously resonates at the frequency of 111 Hz. Additionally, further research with MRI scans has shown that the brain switches off the prefrontal cortex and also deactivates the language center that is responsible for holistic processing, creativity, intuition, and inducing an emotional plateau at exactly 111 hertz. This reaction many field tests revealed resulted in an experience described as a divine level of meditation in a number of subjects. This trance, some now believe, allows one to get connected with the universe, God, or a creator. The question is, who knew such advanced knowledge so far back within antiquity? How were they able to create such stone structures which amplified one's voice to exactly this frequency? It seems preposterous to continue to attest that this amazing structure was somehow built by our lesser capable modern ancestors over 3500 years ago. With such amazing discoveries and cover-ups which have been made here, we feel that we have merely scratched the surface in modern times of the secrets this mysterious place must hold. It is a place which is undoubtedly highly compelling.